when we were children, it was a point of pride that as we grew up, there were more and more things we could do. Of course, that sets us up for a fall as we get older, suddenly find that the body's not going to be able to do things it used to be able to do. And that becomes a point of shame, a point of disappointment, which it shouldn't be. It's just the way things are. And it's not like we haven't been warned. One of the suttas they call, they talk about old people being a messenger from the Davids, basically saying, hey, you're not going to be here forever and you're not going to be strong forever, so take whatever t opportunity you have to strengthen the mind. And John Lee has a nice passage where he says, you know, we live with strength of body and strength of mind. And the most important one, the one that really is important, is strength of mind. Because the strength of the body goes up and down, and it's to, destined to go all the way down. There's nothing, you can't move the body at all, you have to get out. But the mind doesn't have to be that way. We can strengthen the mind and it can get stronger and stronger, even as the body gets weaker and weaker. So you want to use the meditation as a way of strengthening the mind. You make use of the breath. As long as the breath is there to, for you to use, you use it to provide the mind with a good, solid foundation. And you use the power of your mindfulness to use the breath in turn to help strengthen the body to whatever extent you can. But most important is that you use it to strengthen the mind, that you've got a good place where you can get the mind focused, where you can have a sense of being at home. Because that's the strong point for the mind, otherwise it constantly feels like it doesn't really belong where it is, that somebody's going to push it out. And when you're in a position like that, you're always feeling threatened, you're, and you're always feeling weak. So lay claim to the breath. As long as you've got it, it's yours to do with as you like. So make sure you use it skillfully. As you focus on the breath as a topic of meditation, as you use the strength of the breath as you go through the day. Look for opportunities to be generous. Look for opportunities to be virtuous, to be harmless. Because we don't, we don't have that much time, so you want to make the best use of what you've got. And above all, make sure your mind is in good shape. So that with the ups and downs of the body, the mind doesn't have to go up and down, that it's on an even keel, regardless. <laughs>